Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Geopolitical Simulator 4, Power and Revolution. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is About. And for those of you returning to the channel for another series, I'd like to welcome you back. Now, this is a game that I have previously covered on my channel. You probably, if you've seen it, it was the uh, Saving Venezuela series I did where we played as the country of Venezuela. And um, if you haven't seen it, I won't spoil how it ended out, but it was a lot of fun and I did have a blast with it. So we're back again with the game. I actually held a vote on the community sections of my channel asking you guys to vote for a game you wanted to see. And I gave a few games off uh, for the poll. And this was the number one voted game. I think it ended up winning by like a 10% margin. So uh, this is what you guys wanted to see. And that's perfectly fine with me because I definitely wanted to do another run of these. I really enjoy this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get started. You guys already know what country you're going to be playing as because the title of the video. So we will be playing as Israel. And this is going to be very interesting because Israel starts out in a very unique spot. They are a fairly strong country, both military wise and economically, but they are surrounded by essentially enemies. And that kind of makes it tricky to sometimes play as them but we shouldn't have too much of an issue uh, the biggest thing is going to be trying to expand I think that's what I want to do I want to actually expand it to the areas around us maybe let's see if we can uh, stabilize the region a bit should prove to be very interesting let's go ahead and get started we're already unpaused Solvency may not be safe from depreciation, so we would like to reiterate our confidence in you while recommending vigilance. Let me remind you, in case you're unaware. Okay, sure. Dumb. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First and foremost, let's take a look at the world situation. So here we are as Israel. You can see our country is actually dis divided. Palestinians here controlling two sides of the area, and, and we control uh, this area here. So. Not good. We've got to probably take them. Uh, meanwhile, as for allies in the region, we're fairly alone. Jordan here feeling kind of neutral about the whole thing. But we've got Iraq and Turkey, and that's about it. Uh, for outside allies, kind of farther away, we've got India. Spain really likes us. Um, I guess Belgium really likes us. And then all the way over here, we've got the United States. So let's go ahead and start setting up some meetings right out the gate because you know we're going to want to meet with some people and do a little bit of trading. Trading. We'll actually try to bolster our relationship with Iran. They're, or I'm sorry, Iraq. They're the only ones that are really in the region. And we'll do Turkey as well. So that way we can potentially use them uh, for help. Then on top of that, I would like... I would like to do a couple things here. First and foremost, what am I looking for? I want to set up some union meetings. These are pretty large unions. That one's really large. So let's meet with this guy like that. The agricultural part, I'd like to meet with him. Just have some conversations, maybe wine and dine these people. Have them like me a little bit more. Do we have a green part, like anything? These are all unions. I need associations. Uh, yeah, okay, they actually like me, so that's good. Drivers, hunters, only 13,000, 341, 710. National Association for an Alternative World. Hmm. Ah, whew, okay. So most of these people seem to like me. Consumers. Okay, let's do that. All right, perfect. So we got a couple meetings set up with some larger groups. We could try and wine and dine those people. All right, we're going to close all this out. Um, Secret Service, another thing I want to do. Terrorists, let's go to exterior. I want to manage networks. 
And we're just going to take a bunch of these off, right? Because we don't need Venezuela on this list. Thailand, uh, North Korea, Mexico. These are stupid countries to have here. So let's do drop those and confirm that. That gives us 72 available agents. We're going to put some agents in... Syria, throw 10 agents there. And then let's put some in other countries around us. Palestine, obviously. There we go. We're going to put 20 agents there. And then who else is around us? Lebanon. We'll leave Jordan alone. Nah, you know what? We will put some in Jordan. 10. And then the last one will be Lebanon. Um, the rest of them I'll leave. And we'll throw 15 in Lebanon. Okay, no no goals right now. We'll set some goals here in a bit. But uh, let's go ahead and just let the, the infiltration go on. And then how many agents do we have left? 17. So we'll actually go to the budget here. Uh, Special International Agents. And we'll lower this by, I guess, that much. Confirm it. That'll help our budget. Now for the army. We've got 35,300 career soldiers with an average monthly salary. Okay. Rockets, 176,000. Missiles, 487. Okay. We're going to bump this number up to a nice 37,000. It's going to cost us 58 million for our budget, but our military has actually got a budget of 24.4 billion. So they're pretty good right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's our meeting. So um, you are the unions. So here's a coffee. Dark and strong. Um, and here's. Huh. That's not to be turned down. Thank you. Why do you sound like you're from Georgia or something? Uh, tell him he is radiant. Offer bright. Tell him your militants can be proud of their leader. Offer to award him the national medal. Invite him to speak highly of you in public. Um, so. That's the way it is. And you, your family, your neighbors, are they okay? <laughs> so he's definitely drunk. Let's uh negotiate worker contributions, negotiate the, the VAT rate, negotiate retirement for age, retirement age for men, women, negotiate the old age pension, negotiate the allowance paid to job seekers, number of hours in the average working week, negotiate the minimum salary, minimum salary. Offer do you wish to make what if we lowered that to like 255 we would prefer to terminate this negotiation all right that's fine how about you just uh speak highly of me mm, yeah we'll have to see really okay well, i was hoping that he would you're radiant though Thanks. You you're welcome all right well hopefully with that does something for us i don't think it's going to uh where is he yeah, I'll succeed 1%. That might have been where it was sitting. It might have been sitting there before. I don't know. Look at this. Missiles flying all over the place. Nice. Employment. National defense has gone up. Nothing wrong with that. How does uh, the Palestinian government fare to us anyways? Oh, hold on. We'll look at this in a second. Here's a coffee. Sure. And strong, please. You are how you have a current popularity of fifty nine percent. Your this individual's appreciation of you, yeah. Huh. That's not to okay, you're from Georgia too, I guess. You're radiant. Right. Um, and I would love it if you spoke highly of me in public. Mm, oh yeah. my God! Okay. National defense, employment, okay. 
So the buildup going nice and smooth here. So how do you guys look? Your GDP is significantly lower. <laughs> Statements impress. Oh, so actually they did speak highly, highly of me, didn't they? Nice. Yeah, they did speak highly of me. Good. Hello. Here's a coffee. Glass of champagne. I'm your radiant. And I would love it if you um, spoke highly of me. I'm sorry, but we still disagree on some points. So. That's the way. You All right. Well, he won't speak highly of us, but some people did. So. All right. How about? Let's see. Um. They have a 30% unemployment. They only have an army of 3,000 to 176,000, so we could definitely kill these guys. It's imperative that we take the offensive the domain of space research. Yeah, we could look into that. No thanks. Oh, you don't like coffee. You don't really like me. Oh, but you hear but you'll drink wine. All right, so he might speak highly of us too. This guy really insisting that we do research into space. What's our space research right now? Ah, it's not bad. Programs. A lot of people working on different programs to go to space, which we could discoveries. Building launch pad we have a launch pad actually exobiology we're not doing any research in that supporting human life in space see th these are expensive usually there is a budget i'm not gonna work on space stuff right now um there's other stuff i'd much rather research okay so i think he did talk highly of me um Ah, there's so many explosions going on in the background because of all the battling. Sure. There you go. Very kind. Um, propose a military alliance. Create a sales contract. All right, sales contract. And what do we want to sell you? What do we want to sell you? We have apple, apples, and you want to buy apples. What else do we have? We probably don't outdo you in beef. What would we outdo you in? Chemicals. And they're worth a lot, a ton. But we don't produce enough chemicals to take care of ourselves. Or copper, for that matter. Wood? Yeah, we've got, we could do wood. 235 million. Can we up this? You're, you're, you, you probably won't take 143, but you'll probably do 142, 70 for five years. One oh seven, nice try, Trump. How about one forty? One fifteen? One thirty two? One twenty one? One twenty seven? They took one twenty seven. Okay, so two hundred sixteen million, nice, that'll help us. And apples were one. How about chemical industry? We said was Drones, electrical materials, fighter planes? Nah. Milk? No. Plastics. Plastics. We are consuming just as much. Synthetic fibers? They don't have any tea production. We actually have some tea production. Uh, not a lot. The Mountain Millions won.
Ah, uh, pharmaceuticals. Nope, they beat us in pharmaceuticals. Perfumes and cosmetics. Oil? I bet we got oil. No, we don't have any oil. Not yet, anyways. Not yet. Natural gas. Yeah. Lead. Boy, we are a poor country in terms of trading. Oh, flowers, actually. Flowers are worth a lot for us for some reason. Um, so 213 million. Nice. Okay, that's enough. Hopefully we'll see that turn over here. Well done. You have All right. Yep, lots of good stuff going on. We should see the budget go up. Deficit percentage of the GDP. Went up a point zero one percent. Cool. We've got a couple other meetings coming up, so we do need to start working on some of these industries then. Oh, here's our meeting though with Iraq. Here's a coffee. Um, she should make an effort in terms of human rights. I'm not going to tell him that. I'm going to sell him something. Uh, what did, would they want? They want apples, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Whew. Bananas, beef, uh, cereals. How about cement? No. Paper. No, we have a consumption on almost everything except for wood. They will take some for eighty five million. I'll accept that. Eighty two million, okay. All right, what can we do to get our approval rating up a little bit more? All right, cultural. Ah, we don't have a lot of this stuff, and that stuff's pretty cheap. So let's do some musical comedies, a circus, animation films, classical, jazz, literature, comics, and video games for sure. There. There. Don't cost us a whole lot to get all these up to two, and it will give us some additional support. Ten million. Perfect. So we should see a little bit of a bump. I feel like we should have saw a little bit more of a bump than that, but maybe not. Here's our meeting with the president of Turkey. Here's a coffee. I'd like to create a sales contract with you. I would like to sell you bananas. No, I wouldn't. How about bottle? Nope. For we are literally over making. Every, we have a high consumption on everything, except for flowers, and flowers seem to be some type of weird money maker for us. So let's just do that. 
Yeah, they're not going to. I'll accept that. So 46 million. That's fine. All right. So, wow. <laughs> We're a mess. We are a mess. Main production, percentage of national sales, building housing and roadway construction, chemical industry, fuel, tourism and hotel slash trade, fossil electricity, plastics, pharmaceuticals, vegetables, sodas, and conventional gas, really. Building housing, railway construction, and chemical industry should be probably our biggest ones. Coal and oil, world info. So we are going up. With the total embargo, because we subsidize it, we can custom duties, exonerate, impose a price reduction, adjust the degree of nationalization. Let's throw 10 million, I don't know, 10 million in subsidies there. See if that helps the chemical industry grow a bit. Copper would be another one. I'm going to throw 10 million in to subsidize it. What else? Paper, maybe? There. We'll see if that helps a bit. Ooh, nice. We're on our way up for the budget deficit. That's pretty good. I like it. Who do we owe right now? Ourselves. France, United States, Japan, United Kingdom, India. Okay, so at least nobody that we're going to be going to war with. Average monthly salaries. Oh, we definitely don't want to touch these. If anything, we'd want to raise them. We definitely don't want to lower them. But I wouldn't mind finding money... Someplace. What's the key interest rate right now? 10%. All right. Ooh, we got lots of environmental stuff. Pollution, nuclear threats. We're clearly not worried about a lot of this, but look at all this. Air pollution. Ooh, bunch of cost of millions. So this is a very large part of our space here. Let's dump a bunch of money into this. It's gonna up, uh, turn us over a little bit, but we should get some bumps for that. Plus the sky will be really happy with us. We can find the money someplace else. All right, we got... Actually, that's not a lot of dilapidated housing. Cost over five years, 108K. Numbers of really manpower. Let's go ahead and start fixing up some of this housing here. Only cost us 10 million. We'll get a reimbursement from it, and that'll help with unemployment. What is unemployment at right now? Can I see... Where would I see this? Unemployment insurance, eight percent. It's not too bad. I guess it's going up. Help for employing our young. Help for employing seniors. Employment agency. We could probably drop some of these. I'm thinking. Our infiltrated. All right. Terrorists are occupying a boarding area in the airport of Jerusalem. The skies members of a South American folk band. They surprised security guards and after some bursts from their Kalashnikovs, they easily took possession of their premise. They have explosives wrapped around their bodies. And in a total of three various nationalities being held. I'll get back to you. Uh-oh. Like 
of recent events. We'll proceed to cross-check all our intelligence and quickly update. Files. What's going on? Some suspects will be removed. Uh, we've got an upheaval. What are they upset about? Give the order to attack, launch negotiations. All right. Um, what is your negotiation strategy? We can gain some time, send them hearty meals and alcoholic beverages, approve the legitimate demand, tell them give up. There's no chance you'll make it. We'll just gain some time right now. We got to figure out what we're going to do about this hostage situation. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and pause it here. We'll deal with the hostage situation in the next episode since we are out of time. Holy crap. So yeah, we're going to have to definitely deal with that problem. But like I said, we'll save it for the next one. That being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.